Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Batman. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Captain EJ will be your guide. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. A single light shines up into the night sky, the bat signal, calling you and the dark night to Gotham because your protection is needed. Look up into the black sky twinkling with white stars and see the yellow bat-shaped light. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the yellow light of the bat signal surround you with warmth and strength. Then breathe out through your mouth and, in an instant, you are standing in the high-tech Batcave. Alfred, Batman's trusted confidant and caretaker, is leading you step by step through a maze of dimly lit tunnels beneath the Bruce Wayne mansion above. You can barely see where you are going, but Alfred is holding a plate with a little candle on it that gives you a little light for each of your careful footsteps. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Alfred turns a sharp corner and walks up to a steel door with a blinking red keypad beside it. He looks over his shoulder, then beeps in a secret code, four buttons. You can hear several locks unlocking behind the door until it finally opens. A bright fluorescent light pours into the tunnel and Alfred takes a deep breath in through his nose and breathes out in puffs to blow out the candle. He leads you past a shiny new Batmobile prototype up to a table where Batman is working diligently on new armor. He doesn't hear you and Alfred come in at first, but then turns around to look in your direction and wave Alfred goodbye as he leaves back through the concrete tunnels. Batman looks at you and says, Are you ready? Gotham needs us. If you're ready, walk up to the table to stand next to Batman. He is almost done with your Batsuit, which is exactly identical to him since you are his one and only Batman in training. He hands you the mask with bat ears sticking up. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to affix the mask over your eyes and over your head. It feels snug but comfortable, like it was made just for you. Next, he hands you armor to protect your shoulders, belly, legs, and feet. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and make all of your muscles just as strong as the armor. When you breathe out through your mouth, relax each and every muscle as you secure the armor into place. Now the armor can be strong so your muscles don't have to be. Lastly, Batman hands you a cape and a titanium belt with blinking lights and everything you could need to defend yourself. Before you drape the cape over your shoulders, make sure your neck is strong and tall with your ears as far away from your ears. Take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to drape the cape around your shoulders. It hangs all the way down to the floor but has special technology in it that will not trip you. Then fasten the belt around your softened belly and you're ready. Batman walks over to the new and improved Batmobile and opens the passenger door to get in. He then leans out the window and says, get in. You're driving. I built this one for you. You can hardly believe it, but there's no time to waste. Gotham is depending on you. Open the shiny black Batmobile door and sit inside. The dashboard is glowing with lights. There are levers and pedals and screens that list the possible technology you can use in the Batmobile. Batman pushes a button on his belt that opens the ceiling above you and the Batmobile then another that lifts you from the Batcave, deep below the mansion, to the roof of the mansion like an elevator. The Batmobile spins slowly around until it is facing the edge of the roof when it gets to the top. All you can see is the twinkling stars in the nighttime sky and the yellow bat signal light shining. Batman says that there is a Batman imposter answering the bat calls, and when he gets to the scene, his only aim is to harm people which goes against the real Batman's ethics. With your mission known, you push the gas pedal down lightly at first, then as hard as you can. As you pull the lever in front of you, 
back toward you. The Batmobile engine revs quietly so as to stay incognito and flies right off the roof into the air. Without trying, you instinctively know how to operate the Batmobile because it was made just for you. As you fly, Batman explains that this bat signal was sent to draw out the imposter so you can make sure he doesn't do any harm to anyone else. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and feel the excitement of this mission. Then breathe out through your mouth and decide what technology you will use to find the imposter. Batman suggests using the magnetic bat array that will immediately attach itself to the titanium of the imposter's suit and then lead the Batmobile directly to him. Swipe through the touchscreen in front of you until you see the magnetic batarang, then push it to engage. A mechanical arm lifts up from the hood of the Batmobile, then launches the batarang in one sweep. Without you needing to do anything, the Batmobile turns itself around and heads in the direction of the bat signal, where the imposter is. You and Batman zoom through the city of Gotham, traveling faster than you've ever gone in your life. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and slowly back out through your mouth as you enjoy this ride in the Batmobile. The magnetic batarang leads you to a tall parking structure with many floors. Instead of taking the long way up, you push another button on the dashboard to engage wall climbing. The Batmobile lifts up underneath you to allow the wheels to transform. Then it drives straight up the wall of the parking garage. When you get to the top, the Batmobile projects over the side of the lands on the roof. The headlights shine on the imposter who has followed the bat signal here. He tries to run and hide as the batarang keeps him perfectly in place inside his imposter batsuit. The word loiter flashes in red letters on the screen. Then Batman pushes a button along the side and the word pull flashes instead. The Batmobile pulls the imposter back by recalling the powerful magnetic batarang. That locks the imposter onto the top of the Batmobile, where he is stuck and cannot escape. Then you and Batman take a joyride around Gotham, knowing the one and only Batman in training saved the city from an imposter. That was great. I love your stories, Captain EJ. For the next one, can you tell us about when the Joker hacked all of the traffic lights in the city? Ready when you are. I'm ready. <laughs> let the story begin. You let out a big yawn and lean back in your chair. You rub your eyes and wonder if it's almost time for bed, when you suddenly hear car brakes screeching outside. You worriedly jump to your feet and dash closer to the window. Horns honk loudly and tires squeal. What's going on out there? You gasp when you realize that all the traffic lights on your street have begun flashing weirdly. The red, yellow, and green lights are going crazy. Something has happened to all the stoplights, and they're not working. It's like someone has scrambled them all up. All the drivers of the cars are confused. A few cars zoom through the stoplights, almost crashing into other cars. It's only a matter of time before this turns into a disaster. Unable to just sit by and let something bad happen, you rush away from your chair and head outside. Your bedtime is just going to have to wait. You're not sure what you'll be able to do to fix the stoplights, but you feel like you need to do something. Just as you step outside, a sleek black vehicle glides up to your house. It's the Batmobile. The black tinted window rolls down to reveal the caped crusader himself. I'm glad I found you, says Batman. We've got trouble in Gotham City. The Joker has randomized all the stoplights in town. I need your help to break into his lair and fix this before anyone else gets hurt. Are you down for an adventure? You nod quickly. There's nothing you want more than to help Batman save the city. Gotham City needs to be kept safe. You leap into the passenger seat of the Batmobile and it zooms down the street. Batman expertly avoids any incident as he steers quickly through the broken traffic lights. So far, no one seems badly hurt. Still, you know that you and Batman need to work quickly to make sure it stays that way. Joker moves his hiding spots all the time, Batman explains as he drives, but I think I found his latest lair. 
Gulping, you nod. It's never easy to face off against a bad guy, but you're brave enough to see this through. Both Batman and Gotham City are counting on you. You and Batman drive to the outskirts of Gotham. Way out here, it's very dark and tall trees cover the road. A chill runs up your spine. You've never been this far from home and you're a little nervous, but you remind yourself to stay strong. You take a deep breath in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. The car glides quietly up a tall and gloomy hill. Great clouds swirl across the sky. It's so dark that you can't even see the moon. When the Batmobile stops near a tiny building with dark windows, you can hardly see anything at all. I know that building looks small, but I think it's the door to Joker's secret hideout. Batman whispers, follow me. You nod and slip out of the Batmobile. Together, you and Batman tiptoe as quietly as possible toward the building. You press your ear to the door and listen close, but you don't hear anything at all. Using a tool from his utility belt, Batman unlocks the door. Slowly, he cracks the door open. When the door creaks, Batman stops and frowns. We need to be very careful once we get inside, he says, still whispering. Our goal is to fix the stoplights without the Joker even noticing that we're in his lair. Fighting him in his home turf would be a disaster. Think you can handle that? You nod quickly. You're not about to let Batman go in there all alone. He needs you as his backup. Batman sneaks carefully in through the door. When you follow him, you notice bells and alarms hung up all around you. If you were Batman, had clumsily pushed open the door, the Joker would have known you were there immediately. You gulp again, grateful that you've been so careful. Now, how do we get deeper into the lair, sighs Batman. You and Batman look carefully around, taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. You then gasp and point toward a nearby bookshelf. Under the corner of the bookcase, the floorboards are slightly lifted. Good eye, says Batman with a grin. He pushes aside the bookshelf to find a trapdoor hidden underneath. Together, you make your way deep down into the lair. You follow a long set of stairs and then creep through winding halls. You carefully peek around every corner. Joker or his henchmen could be anywhere. How will we fix the stoplights? wonders Batman quietly. From down the hall, you suddenly hear a wild laugh. That old bat won't ever be able to figure this one out, crackles the Joker. The sound is getting closer and closer. You and Batman need to hide. You quickly grab Batman's arm and pull him in through another doorway. When you turn around, you see a bunch of computers hooked up to the wall in front of you. Big glowing dashboard flashes with lights. On the computer screens are all the traffic lights scrambled around the city. You found it, Batman gasps. He rushes towards it and quickly taps the buttons. You watch on the computer screens as the traffic lights stop flashing. In just a matter of moments, Batman has figured it out. Soon they return to normal. The streets are safe again. Batman grins at you happily. I knew you'd be able to help me with this, he says proudly. You smile right back at him before pointing at his utility belt. He reaches down to grasp his batarang and nods. You're right, he agrees. I need to destroy this machine so Joker can't use it anymore. Batman spears the device with his batarang. Sparks start shooting and the machine begins to beep loudly. You point toward the door and Batman laughs. Right again, <laughs> he chuckles. It's time we get out of here. Together, you and Batman race back out of the hideout. As you leave, you can hear Joker calling for his henchmen to track you down, but you're too fast. You leap into the Batmobile and speed back down the hill. All the stoplights seem to be in perfect working order again. A few minutes later, the Batmobile slows down in front of your house. Thanks again for your help today. Without you, Gotham City would have been in huge trouble, says Batman. I'm so glad I can always count on your help. You tap your chin thoughtfully and then gesture toward your house where your bed is still waiting. Batman laughs. <laughs> all right, all right. You helped me save the day. Now it's time for you to get some rest. You grin eagerly. Batman thanks you again for helping to save the day. And as you hop out of the Batmobile, he says, Stay ready. We never know when the Joker will strike again. You smile back and say, You know where to find me, before closing the Batmobile door. 
That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.